while the going's good. No sooner do they reach outside when... That runaway vehicle! Look out! <gasps> that was us that just drove by. Of course. That's how we'll escape the time thieves. I'll send us back a minute in time. A minute earlier? We can get away in that parked car. The keys are in it. How do you know? Since I saw us drive away, the keys have to be in it. You're right. This time travel stuff takes time getting used to. That's us. Coming out of the factory, again! But how? We'll always come out and watch ourselves drive away. Stop! That's my car! We'll always go back in time, borrow this car, and drive away with us looking on. Giving me the idea to go back in time and take this car. Over and over again for all time to come. It's a closed loop paradox. Don't try to figure it out. I can't, and I won't. I... oh, no! I think we're in trouble! Jam! Big trouble! Only one trick left! But it's going to break every time law on the books! Whatever it is, Jam, do it! Hang on! I'm taking you into the future with me! Oh, wow! The Riverdale City Museum in the 29th century! We should be safe here, for the time being. Th that's a statue of me! As January returns the car to the 20th century and its owner. You're an important figure in history. Just for saving Senator Bailey's life, so he could someday be president? More than that, during a dream one night, you had an idea that helped all mankind. Because of it, you received the Nobel Prize. Mm -hmm. There's a whole museum wing just for me. You're the most famous person on Earth. In our time, it's a compliment to be called a Jughead. Really? Your face has even been carved next to the others on Mount Rushmore. My drum set. Encased in a solid block of quartz, preserved for all eternity. And for Pete's sake, there's my room. An exact replica. Millions have come here to marvel at it. Historians have even discovered what the S stands for on your sweater. They, they know what it means? Everyone knows? But, but, but that's my biggest secret. Needless to say, the news came as quite a shock to the world. I don't... Hey, look! It's Archie! Hey, Arch! He's only a hologram. All your associates are reproduced here. Betty, Veronica, even uh, Reggie. About Archie. Who did he marry? Veronica or Betty? Tell me, I'd like to know. He was about to wed one girl when he changed his mind and suddenly married the other. Our scholars are still baffled. The girl he married was... An explosion! Did somebody sneak in without paying? Meow! It's the time thieves! They've managed to track you to the future! They're certainly dedicated to their work! Their lightning rings take several seconds to recharge. Archie's old jalopy! Hurry! It's our only chance! One side, coming through! Whoa! He got away again! We're not dealing with an ordinary human! It's the great Jughead himself! They went in there! Excellent! A dead end! We have him now! Jones is trapped like a... a... No! No! It, it's impossible! <gasps> We're surrounded by Jugheads! January suspected you might return to the future, so she cloned an army of me in preparation. We are hopelessly outnumbered. We surrender. Me next. Marshal McAndrews, slap the cuffs on him. Well, why are all the Jugheads vanishing? There never was a clone army of Jughead. There were only 3D hologram illusions. It took only instants to reprogram the whole projector. The bluff was all Jughead's idea. We were fools to match wits with the legendary foresight, P. Jones. That takes care of that. Not, not quite. By bringing you to the future, I've tampered with time myself. Somehow I must set things right. I'd better take you to the Watchtower headquarters of the Time Police. Soon. And that's the whole story, Chief. Uh, it's simple, Marshal. We'll mind wipe Jones' memory of the entire experience. Isn't that a bit drastic? He won't recall anything. 
won't even remember me. Oh, Jan, it's for the best. Really, it is. I'm a descendant of Archie Andrews. All my life, I've wanted to meet the famous Jughead Jones. And now you have. I don't know how to say this, but I've fallen in love with you. Don't, please. You only make this harder. I, I, I. Mind wipe complete. Send them back, Marshal. Farewell, Jug, my darling. And in our time, after the park rally breaks up. That car! It's careening out of control, heading straight for Senator Bailey! Wow! Senator Bailey! Look out! Ah, uh, my death fellow was stuck. Uh, is everybody all right? I'm fine, thanks to this young man. I'm okay, too. Amazing the way you seem to pop out of nowhere, son. I did? I mean, uh, I guess I did. This'll make the front pages of every paper in the country. Riverdale teen saved Senator's life. What a story! I'd like to get an autographed copy of that photo, sir. Certainly. My office will be glad to send you one. The next day... Look at this mess. What happened? I don't know. Well, fix that wall before Mr. Lodge sees it. And get rid of that pile of junk. Yes, sir. Elsewhere... Goodbye forever, my love. And so, sometime afterwards. Oh. I love you too, Jan.